we have on the service bench here a Xena Space Command 600 chassis model S77536 it's out of a 1970 model color set and the reason it's on the bench is because there was a little uh, difficulty encountered uh, with the chassis responding to the frequencies those transmitted from the mechanical remote right there and the reason we were having some of those problems is because well at first eh, it needed alignment to begin with however I modified this Space Command 1000 remote control that you can see right there and I aligned it to match the frequencies perfectly with those that are supposed to be uh, tuned on the Space Command 600 remote chassis so in theory it's a great idea in theory it should work however you're not going to have a perfect exact frequency match on that electronic oscillator remote compared to this mechanical tuning fork remote so essentially what we need to be able to do is align that chassis and tune it for the remote itself so this way they're basically tuned to each other and it's going to work at optimum efficiency and we're going to achieve that alignment by using the Tektronix 310 scope here and all we need to do is uh, just adjust for peak gain on each of the four detector coils right here now looking inside the chassis here we're going to take a look at the uh, transistor uh, the 37.75 kilohertz this controls the mute and or excuse me the on off uh, volume stepper relay followed by the 38.75 kilohertz which controls the mute and next is the 40.25 kilohertz which controls the channel lower and the last is the 41.25 channel higher so like I said we're going to take the probe from the scope we're going to put it right on the collector uh, lead of the transistors and what we're going to do, we simply press the button for the corresponding frequency and we're going to peek out each of these detector coils for maximum uh, response on the scope. And it's just that simple. So, this same concept and alignment applies to all of the other mechanical remote chassis such as the Space Command 200, 300, 400, and 500. I'm going to zoom right in on the screen. Okay. line our circuitry right here okay we're attached to the collector lead okay turn up our intensity a little bit on the scope here you can actually see it we got our focus pretty good and you have to follow a particular order you have to start from lower frequency to highest frequency which is real simple on this particular chassis because the coils just follow that order as you go right up the line here so I'm going to press the volume on off button now you can hear that little chatter there since the remote chassis is on its side uh, gravity is not working with that relay because it's got a big uh, aluminum uh, relay piece that goes over the top that actuates the the volume stepper. I'm just going to put a little pen in between there and it'll stop that. There we go. You could see as that tuning fork dampens down you lose your amplitude of course. 
So what we want to do, we're going to adjust that detector coil and peek it out. There we go. You can see a little interaction here. There it's. See the amplitude gets a lot more. Get maximum gain out of there. And there you have it. There's the first frequency. And by the way, we use a non-attenuating DC probe for the oscilloscope. And now we're going to align the next frequency, the 38.75 mute control. I want to get that as accurate as possible. Right there. And now for the next frequency, the 40.25 kilohertz, which is our lower channel function. Okay, good. And now the last frequency to be aligned, which is the 41.25 kilohertz, which is our channel higher function. And there it is. The Space Command chassis is now completely tuned to the actual mechanical remote itself. So now we know that this chassis and remote are going to work at their optimum uh, ability. And just so you can see, we got the hand control here. We'll start at the lowest frequency, the on off volume stepper. You can see how the relay there doesn't want to kick in because it's off on the side. But we know it works. Channel lower. You can hear the pilot relay click. Mute. Perfect. And channel higher. So we now know everything is working. And we should be able to just put this right back in the TV and uh, everything should work great. 
However, one thing I'd like to point out is the uh, setting of the sensitivity control here. What you'd like to be able to do under normal conditions is go to the negative le uh, lead of this capacitor right here. That is C19 on this particular chassis. It's a 10 microfarad 3 volt cap. You want to set that sensitivity control right there to about minus 0.9 volts. So I mean that's that's going to vary of course depending on how far you're going to be from the set. Um, but under normal conditions, you know, yeah, eight ten feet away from the set, that's going to be about the voltage you want it set at. And once you get that done, the uh, space command is ready to go. And that's it.